So, uh, so I would like to uh, welcome Gu Jinping, well, Tsihua University of Beijing, PT CISA, and we'll give a talk on elliptic trace map on uh, chiral algebras. Please, Gu. Uh, yes, thank you very much. Yes, thank you for your introduction. Um, uh, today, I. Uh, oh, uh, today, uh, I'm going to talk about a uh, trace map on Chi algebras. Um, uh, this is based on joint work with uh, CIRI. Um, I will first uh, re uh, review the, the uh, uh, vertex operating algebras and Chi algebras uh, and uh, elliptic Chi homology. And then I will briefly review the uh, BV. Uh, BV quantization, and then I will uh, connect uh, the the, uh, the BV uh, BV formalism and uh, the Chi homologies. Uh, finally, I will discuss uh, uh, the weighting uh, the weighting genus. Um, uh, first, let me try to explain the motivation of this work. So, um, um, uh, first, let uh, M be a symplectic manifold and uh, the smooth functions, uh, the space of smooth functions is a uh, Poisson algebra. Uh, you, uh, the Poisson bracket is given by the uh, inverse of the, uh, the uh, symplectic two form. And a, a deformation quantization uh, is defined to be an um, uh, associative algebra, the deformed associative algebra uh, as deformed a product uh, on the smooth space of smooth functions uh, uh, joined with uh, a form of a variable. And um, uh, it ha um, we, 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 um, the start product uh, is satisfied uh, these three properties. The first is the locality. Uh, this means that uh, uh, this bi binary operation uh, can be uh, it, uh, uh, express as uh, high differential operators. And uh, we require that the <clears throat> when you take h bar equal to zero, we, uh, we, we go back to our original pointwise commutative, uh, commutative uh, product. And the, the first, uh, the first uh, non-commutativity uh, is given by the Poisson bracket here. <laughs> um, so, uh, given a uh, deformation quantization that uh, exists, a unique trace map uh, is unique determined by these uh, two properties. Uh, the first is the trace properties. Uh, this means that uh, this functional the trace here um, vanishes on the commutator. And, and here is the normalization property. This means that um, the classical part is just given by the uh, integra integration uh, of f pair with this uh, the top form of the simple manifold. Uh, then the algebra index theorem uh, formulated by uh, Philosoph and Nas Sagan uh, tells you that the trace one here can be uh, expressed as uh, ex expressed as a uh, integration of certain uh, characteristic class of your uh, simplicity manifold. So um, uh, this part is the, uh, so uh, uh, this is the quantum algebra and this, uh, we have a unique determined trace and uh, this statement is called algebraic index theorem. So uh, 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 more recently, uh, these two paper uh, established uh, rigorous connection between um, the effective BV quantization, I will briefly review this uh, concept of the topological quantum mechanics, which is a one dimensional quantum field theory and the theory of the algebraic index theorem. So uh, intuitively, uh, topological quantum mechanics uh, describe the quantum, uh, um, uh, uh, one dimensional quantum field theory for, uh, on mapping space uh, from a one dimensional circle, which you can insert some operators and uh, to the target simplicity manifold. And 
the partition function of this quantum field theory uh, is exactly given by this trace. Uh, this trace um, can be extended to the full uh, uh, Hausch homology, which uh, zero's Hausch homology is um, uh, is uh, the ori origin trace um, can uh, the zero's Hausch homology can be described as um, a module by the commutator. So, um, uh, so uh, as we mentioned before. Um, the trace map can be uh, viewed as a partition function for the one dimensional quantum field theory. So uh, we want to uh, extend this uh, kind of, um, uh, um, extend this to two dimensional case. So uh, in two dimensional, actually uh, the whole, the, the kind of Kyle conform field theory and the elliptic character in the, this uh, two dimensional Kyle conform field theory can be viewed as kind of two-dimensional version for this uh, one-dimensional trace map. So uh, inspired by uh, physicists, uh, uh, by the constructions in quantum field theory, we have uh, following uh, very natural questions. So um, uh, what happened if we uh, replace, um, uh, replace the S1 here by an um, elliptic curve? Um, can we uh, establish a kind of a version of a two-dimensional uh, algebraic index theorem? Um, uh, the underlying quantum field theory we, we consider is uh, the so-called curved beta gamma system, uh, which the source, the, 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 the washing of uh, this signal model is a two-dimensional uh, surface. And there are some local operator insertions and the target is a cotangent bundle of uh, uh, complex manifold. So uh, this is a, a rough comparison, uh, 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 comparison between the one the algebraic structure in the one dimensional quantum field theory and the and the algebraic structure in two dimensional quantum field theory. So uh, in one dimensional Quantum topological, topological quantum field theory, we have our underlying manifold is just the, the circle, the S1. And the operating insertion here forms an algebra, is an associative algebra. And we have some certain homology theory, uh, is a, a well known homology series called Hausser homology. And it's actually, this can be described by uh, uh, some kind of uh, 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 the, the operator get, uh, getting close, very close to each other. And uh, in two-dimensional, uh, our underlying manifold, uh, actually a complex manifold is a one-dimensional uh, complex manifold, is a Riemann surface. And the operator, local operator insertion forms a two-dimensional holomorphic algebra, uh, uh, which is also well-known algebra structure is called vertex operator algebra. And, uh, uh, more importantly, uh, uh, there is a homology theory for this two-dimensional algebra. Uh, it's uh, constructed by Benson Greenfield. It's called a Kyle homology, uh, which roughly speaking can be viewed as a kind of two-dimensional two uh, two analog uh, of the Hausch hom homology theory for the associative algebra, uh, which uh, described uh, quantum mechanical system, which is one dimensional quantum field theory. So uh, in this two dimensional algebra, so uh, in one dimension, you have only one direction to, uh, to, to, to approach uh, uh, operator, get uh, approach to each other. But in two dimensional, there is kind of a wires where it's parameterized by the formal variables. Um, uh, now I, I will, uh, briefly review the concept of uh, uh, vertex operator algebra and the Kyle algebra. Uh, and then I will uh, 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 take some time to explain the Kyle homology. So uh, uh, um, the uh, vertex operator algebra, uh, first of all, vertex, alge vert vertex operator algebra uh, as is a vector uh, is a vector space, 
but first of all, it's a vector space uh, with several structures. So um, uh, first we have a state field correspondence. So this means that for any uh, elements in this vector space, we can associate it to, to a, a, a vertex operator. Uh, this means that this is a, a, a linear operator parametrized by uh, this formal power series. And we have a distinguished element, uh, which is a um, so-called vacuum element uh, mapped just to the identity operator. And there is also an, uh, an operator L minus one here, uh, plays the role of uh, the, uh, the translation. The infinitesimal translation is the holomorphic derivative of, of this vertex operator. Uh, so this just means that uh, if we apply this operator uh, uh, to compute the commutator with this uh, vertex operator, we, we get exactly the holomorphic derivative with respect to uh, respect to the uh, this formal uh, variable z. And uh, we also have the locality here. Uh, this means um, uh, the vertex operator, uh, the non-trivial commutator, only uh, uh, only support support only diagonal when, uh, when uh, z equals to w. So uh, intuitively, uh, this means that we can compose uh, uh, this uh, um, two local operators on any Riemann surface, uh, but there are some, uh, uh, so recall that in uh, associative algebra, we can uh, approach each other as a star product. So it's just a one term, but uh, here we are uh, in a two dimension. So we have a, a, a kind of N, uh, a kind of a bunch of uh, uh, product parameterized by uh, this uh, long series. Uh, so um, uh, there are several uh, uh, properties uh, satisfied by uh, the vertex operators. So uh, if we fix our uh, uh, element, uh, uh, in the origin and uh, and vertex operators kind of uh, 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 insert at the point Z. And we can use a conformal transformation uh, to move Z uh, to the origin. And now uh, this vertex operator becomes dependent on Z or minus Z. So uh, because it's so-called conform field theory, we, 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 the, the conform environments uh, uh, tells you that th this two expression is uh, essentially the same, and we can translate uh, into the, uh, the into ex uh, explicit formulas. Uh, is described quite by this formula. So uh, this is the uh, we first uh, multiply a uh, uh, on left, and if we're trying to uh, uh, switch uh, the a and b, we have to get some. Uh, 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 some derivatives, and uh, since um, since uh, in two dimension we have a uh, residue formula tells uh, the, the, the tells you if you uh, if we uh, exchange the contour the, the contour integrals we actually uh, 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 get some uh, identities. So the corresponding uh, so we first uh, uh, fix uh, uh, the operator insert. Uh, in the origin, and we first uh, 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 make the, uh, this vertex operator uh, 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 travel around this contour, and then a. And if we're trying to uh, uh, exchange uh, 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 the, the contour integral, uh, we actually uh, uh, get this formula. So we first uh, um, do the contour integral, the a. Uh, circles around B and then uh, this, uh, this composition, uh, this combined operator and travel around the C. So uh, we get uh, uh, this uh, looks a very complicated formula. Uh, it's just a, a kind of two dimensional Jacobi identity and I will come, uh, come back uh, it later. Um, so uh, the, the uh, there's a very simple example is uh, also um, uh, 
It's called the uh, the Betagon BC system. It's also called the Bosonian of a main ghost system. So um, I so first let edge uh, be a, a, a super vector space uh, which equipped with uh, uh, sympathetic uh, even sympathetic pairing. Um, uh, we get we actually we can obtain a vertex operate a vertex algebra structure on this differential free differential ring. So as a vector space is uh, 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 a commutative uh, differential rings uh, generated by the base uh, of the vector space edge and the, the, the formal derivatives uh, 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 on the variable. And the operator product is generated by, uh, by this singular operator product expansions. So uh, if we have only the Bosonian ghost, the beta gamma system, um, uh, we denote it by the V or uh, beta gamma, and the net N is the, uh, the, 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 the copies of the even simplicity space. So uh, intuitively, this can be viewed as a, a two-dimensional uh, a Kyle version of the, the, uh, the, different, the differential op operators on the, uh, on, on, on the fine space, uh, the CM. So uh, in one dimension, we have a smooth function on CM and the, and the, um, and, uh, and, the, and, um, and the, cotton, the smooth function on the cotton engine bundle uh, can be deformed to the uh, differential operators on, on this vector space. So this is a, just a two dimensional uh, things. Uh, is, is also called the Kyle differential operators. <clears throat> so um, uh, so uh, uh, now I am going to uh, uh, introduce the, uh, the notion of the Kyle algebra. Um, uh, uh, later we will say that uh, a vertex operator algebra can be viewed as a universal uh, Kyle algebra. So um, uh, first let uh, X, uh, be a smooth complex analytic curve, and and uh, Benson Dreamville defined uh, Kyle algebra as uh, dx uh, module. Uh, here, the dx module uh, means the right uh, dx module. So um, the Kyle algebra structure uh, is a d-module map from the the bisections to the d-module push forward of the original uh, A. So the demotion push forward is uh, given by the diagonal push forward for the diagonal embedding. So uh, we can push uh, the demotion to, uh, to the, the, the X cross X. So uh, here, uh, this uh, uh, notation means that we allows the uh, the sections uh, which can have the metamorphic pole along the diagonal. So um, the Kyle algebra, uh, uh, the, the axiom for Kyle algebra is two properties. The first is the, is the anti symmetry. Uh, this means that if we switch two variables, uh, uh, we get just a, 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 a causal sign. Uh, and now, now, now we suppose uh, we deal with some kind of super Kyle algebra. Um, um, and uh, this sigma uh, is the 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 the, 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 the symmetric group action uh, exchange the, the two copies of of, of the, uh, the x times x. And this map mu here satisfies the the Jacobi identity. Uh, this means that if we first uh, uh, use the map mu uh, uh, to the A and B and then apply mu outside, and we permute, uh, we do a cyclic uh, permuting, we get uh, this identity. So uh, this can be sort of as a, a two-dimensional uh, to, to the uh, Jacobi identity. So. Uh, uh, this uh, uh, this notation means that we we do a cyclic permutation action on the uh, on this factor. 
So uh, uh, this uh, is the definition of the Kalash birds. So um, the point is that from uh, what is our uh, operating algebra, uh, we can um, we can group group uh, uh, this what is operating algebra along the Riemann surface, arbitrary Riemann surface, uh, to a uh, smooth Riemann surface to get a uh, vertex operator algebra bundle. And we can transfer this vertex operator algebra bundle to a uh, Kyle algebra. So in some sense, uh, uh, the vertex operator algebra can be viewed as a universal object for the Kyle algebra. Um, so uh, there is a notion so-called the, the quasi-conformal vertex algebra introduced by uh, 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 Franco and Ben Zvi. Uh, this just means that uh, the 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 uh, the vertex algebra uh, has an um, an auto or action. Here, the O is the uh, the complete lo topological local rings, and the auto or is the um, the automorphic the continuous automorphism of these uh, rings. So, um, um. The quasi conform means that we have uh, uh, these actions uh, uh, on the uh, what this uh, what is operator algebra, uh, what is algebra, and um, and we can do uh, uh, the associated bundle constructions since uh, we can we have the formal coordinate bundle on the Riemann surface. Uh, this is just the principal uh, the the auto O principal bundle uh, on each fiber uh, for X. A point X, the, the fiber is uh, the uh, the formal local coordinate, and this uh, is automatic the auto toser, and we can do a, a principal construction to get a vertex of vertex algebra bundle of X. So um, the point is that uh, uh, this this uh, the 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 resulting uh, vertex algebra bundle carries uh, flat connections, a uh, homomorphic flat connections. So it is um, a left D module. Uh, we can transfer uh, transfer it to uh, uh, to a right D module by tensoring with the, uh, the the canonical the the canonical line bundle, which is a uh, 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 right D module. So um, the point is that the the anti symmetry and the Borsch's identity, the the two dimensional Jacobi identity. Uh, is correspond to the the, the constant carriage, but uh, is the anti symmetry and the Jacobi identity. So from a vertex operator algebra or, or, or more general quasi conformal vertex algebra, um, we get a Kyle algebra. So um, uh, the the uh, the explicit construction from uh, uh, of the the chi algebra structure of the mu can be written as the following. So, uh, uh, from uh, vertex operator uh, uh, vertex algebra, we have quasi conform vertex algebra. We have the vertex operator algebra bundle, and we transfer into a right D module. And locally, uh, in vertex algebra, we can use the n's product. So we in uh, with two elements, we can compose it. Uh, uh, in this way, so uh, we 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 um, we're trying to define uh, mu uh, by uh, these two uh, local sections, and we define it by uh, this way. So um, we write uh, the demodule push forward uh, as uh, in this way. So. Uh, we have a right, D right dx uh, square module here. So uh, this is corresponding to the factor here. So one can verify that uh, uh, the, the mu de uh, defined, uh, defined by this uh, in this way uh, uh, is a uh, Kyle algebra structure. And, uh, and, and now I will uh, uh, review the construction of the Kyle homology. So um, uh, let me first uh, briefly uh, uh, recall some uh, history uh, here. So um, uh, 
the 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 zero is cohomology, uh, elliptic cohomology. It's also known as a, a genus one conform block. Um, uh, in uh, this paper, Yong Chang Zhu studied the genus one conform block for some uh, uh, vertex operator algebra satisfies some finite, con finite conditions and is very, uh, establishes a moderate invariance of this uh, 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 character and uh, uh, VOAs. And based on Dreamfield uh, defined the chi homology uh, for general algebraic curves, uh, not only genus uh, zero or genus one, uh, uh, for general uh, arbitrary genus, uh, using some uh, Chevrolet cousin complex. I will briefly uh, review this com concept later. Uh, 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 more recently, um, uh, I had really uh, write down a Kyle complex computing the first few um, uh, degrees uh, of chi homology uh, explicitly uh, using uh, some uh, chain complex very similar to uh, Hotshaw, uh, uh, the, 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 the first uh, a few pieces of the Hotshaw homo complex. Uh, but now I, I, I will uh, uh, focus on the construction of the Benson of Benson Dreamfield. So, uh, so X, uh, still X uh, is an algebraic curve. So it is a smooth algebraic curve. And that S uh, be a category of a finite non-empty set. So it's just a set, uh, uh, some finite set of points. And the, the, the morphism uh, is the subjective morphism uh, between the non-empty finite sets. And uh, uh, naively we can, uh, think uh, X S as certain um, uh, uh, kind of infinite dimensional uh, uh, variety. Uh, I'm not going to try to uh, uh, define this variety, but I'm trying to de define the right D modules on this uh, 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 infinite dimensional varieties. So a right D module M on on this X S uh, is a rule that assigns each finite set. I uh, belongs to this category, uh, a right DXI module. And for each uh, suggestion, uh, for each uh, the suggestive maps pi here, uh, we have a natural, uh, we have a, a, some kind of structural morphism. Um, so, uh, be, so we first have the D module here and D module on XJ here. Uh, so we have a diagonal embedding from xi uh, into xj uh, as associated to this subjection. So this is a diagonal map. Um, and uh, we require that we have a, a structural morphisms uh, to uh, map uh, this uh, D module uh, morphisms uh, between these two D modules and satisfy some compatibility conditions uh, which means that uh, we can we, we can we have we can have a sequence of the diagonal embeddings. So we can have J here associated to the uh, subjection maps. Yeah. And um, we can first uh, 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 to push forward these D modules and uh, using these uh, structural morphisms. And then we use this structure morphism again to get the D modules on X, K. Um, we, we can also uh, 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 com, com, do the composition of the push forward and uh, use uh, the structure morphism for the composition map. And we require that this diagram commute. So, uh, in, uh, so we call uh, this uh, data the, uh, the right D module on X, S. Um, so let's come back to X again. So um, let the MX be the category of uh, DX modules. So uh, we can actually, can you, we, we have a exact, uh, exact fully faithful embedding uh, from the D modules on X to the D module on, right D module on XS. So it is a, a, a kind of the maximal diagonal embedding. So, um, the, the, the definition uh, uh, is as follows. So um, 
we only need to know uh, uh, the, the, this D module's uh, value on the x, the, the i copies of x. So it's just defined by the 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 push for, the diagonal push forward uh, of this the, the the diagonal embedding of this small the small diagonal. So uh, one can verify that this defines a uh, 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 D module on x s. So on each uh, copies we have uh, the 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 uh, D module here, which supported on the small uh, the small diagonal. So uh, the point is the 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 um the category of right module on X S uh, carries several uh, tensor structures, and here we use is the Kyle tensor structures. Um, so the tensor product defines as follows. So uh, we actually can define a, a, a families of, of the tensor product. And so we only need to specify uh, uh, the, 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 the tensor product, uh, the value of this tensor product on uh, uh, the xj. And the, the uh, uh, listing module is defined by this formula. So uh, let's forget about this uh, this pull uh, pull push uh, operation. Uh, this is just the, the uh, for each. Uh, so we have a subjection map J to I, and for each I we have a, a pre image of these uh, subjections. So it's just a set of points, and the M I we 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 use the box ten, uh, tensor product. Uh, uh, to the mi and varied uh, on uh, xji here. And this pull push uh, intuitive just means that we allow the, the poles uh, 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 between uh, uh, several diagonals. So the process uh, definition is as follows. So uh, this map is uh, defined, is the open embedding uh, from the complement of all the diagonals that are transversal to uh, this diagonals, uh, uh, complement to of all the diagonals that are transversal to this diagonal embedding. So uh, therefore, uh, this is a open uh, sub variety that satisfy this condition. So um, the x j one uh, not equal to h x j two uh, if and only if the uh, 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 they have uh, they don't have uh, the uh, uh, same image on the uh, the 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 suggested maps. Um, so here is a uh, intuitive picture. So um, for 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 the 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 can, the, the, the dot uh, uh, is is the element in J, and the the circle uh, is the element in I. So the, any subjection to from J to I. Uh, can be viewed as a kind of way to uh, group the elements J uh, 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 to group them in some ways. So um, the test product here, that means that uh, for, for each group, we have a D module uh, here and we box tensor them together and we allow suppose uh, like following form. So um, uh, if, uh, if J and W belongs to a different group, uh, we allow the, the, the metamorphic pose uh, in this form. So uh, we get a non-unital tensor structure on the, uh, on uh, this uh, uh, Kyle uh, on, on this uh, uh, D, D modules on on this XS. So uh, recall that the the Kyle algebra A, a uh, is uh, a right D module X uh, on D, on X uh, satisfies the anti-symmetry and the Jacobian identity. Uh, it can be translated uh, uh, into uh, this statement. So we can uh, recall that we have uh, embedding from the D modules on X uh, to the D modules on X S, and in this category we have a, a tensor structure and. The chi algebra, the, the statement that A is a chi algebra uh, is equivalent to the statement that uh, this, uh, uh, this object in 
the D modules on XS is a Lie algebra object in this tense category. So, um, so now we, uh, uh, from a chi algebra, we, 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 we get a Lie algebra object uh, in this uh, tense category. We can form the reduced uh, Chabrai uh, Ellenbaugh complex, uh, which uh, is a complex in the category of D module on XS. So, um, and the chi homology, or, or, or more precisely, a, a, a chi complex uh, is defined by the, uh, the so uh, is a right derived functor for the drum homo, uh, the drum homology of this D module. So we can either use, um, so there's a server resolution here. We actually, uh, this complex is Shawrai Ember complex, which uh, is kind of uh, uh, um, uh, describe the operator product expansions for this uh, two-dimensional algebra. And the drum here, uh, since this still is a, a D right D module on, on XS, so we can use the Spencer resolution to resolve the to, to resolve the, the D module structure. And, and finally, we can we, 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 we use the, the Bohr resolution to get the derived global sections uh, on this um, infinite dimensional uh, varieties. So, um, so the point is that um, uh, 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 this object is kind of two dimensional uh, a replacement, uh, two-dimensional analog for the Hochschild homologies. Um, now I will uh, briefly review the, the, the BV quantizations, and then I will uh, 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 trying to uh, 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 trying trying to relate uh, this BV formalism to the chi homology. Uh, so. Uh, let me briefly review the BV formalism. So um, the BV formalism uh, is it, it, a kind of uh, formalism to deal with um, the quantization problems for uh, the, the theory with uh, large, uh, very large gauge symmetries. Um, the, uh, the output, the, the kind of mathematical structure in these BV formalisms uh, is kind of uh, uh, mainly uh, in three, uh, it, um, uh, consists of three parts. So the first is the uh, BV algebra. Uh, this is an algebra describe uh, the, 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 uh, the condensation of the gauge theory. And the mass equation uh, uh, describe the quantum uh, consistency uh, uh, for this condensation. And we also need to do the renormalization because uh, in quantum field theory, we, we always, um, Get a, a terrible diverging integral, so um, we we need to do the renormalization. Uh, there is some ways to uh, uh, do renormalization. Uh, 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 usually, physicists uh, use uh, dimensional uh, regularization or, or zeta function regularization. Uh, uh, Kevin Costello uh, used the heat kernel uh, cut off to build a mathematical framework, and here we use. Uh, 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 regularized integrals uh, uh, developed by uh, CD and JZO. Uh, uh, this is a regularized integral. Uh, is a kind of um, generalization of the principal value to the general Riemann surface. Uh, the BV algebra is a pair of uh, a commutative, uh, a commutative associative unit algebra uh, with a BV differential. Um, and uh, this the, the, the failure of this uh, differential to be a, a, a derivation uh, is, is measured by this BV bracket. And um, so uh, this is the definition for the BV algebra. And uh, for BV algebra, uh, let, let's first join uh, this BV algebra uh, 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 with a form variable h bar here. And uh, the quantum mass equation uh, is a is a following uh, equation. So uh, here the i is a power series, uh, which elements uh, uh, is an element in BV algebra, and we re require this uh, uh, 
equation holds. Uh, this, uh, um, uh, this is called the quantum mass equation. So we, we can actually uh, 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 rewrite it as uh, 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 for uh, this following uh, uh, equations. So uh, this kind of, is kind of uh, equation. If we much agree, the first uh, term is that we, we need to, this is zero and there, there is uh, more other terms. Uh, it's a kind of uh, more cut down equations. <clears throat> and uh, in general for, um, if we have a, a chain complex, um, we see a, a linear map uh, from this chain complex to the BV algebra uh, satisfies the quantum mass equations if, uh, we, if uh, this map is actually a, a chain map. So uh, in the previous case, we can take uh, uh, the complex as uh, the, the very trivial complex um, and the map uh, is just, uh, uh, Find C is just uh, multiplying by, uh, by, 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 by this element. So uh, this map is a chain map is equivalent uh, uh, for uh, is equivalent to, to that the I satisfies uh, the quantum mass equation here. So uh, uh, now I, I, I want to summarize uh, the, 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 the whole um, relevant mathematical structures I, I will use late, later. So uh, roughly speaking, the, the B, in BV form reasons, uh, if we use the BV, effective BV quantization uh, of some uh, of certain quantum field series, uh, it contains uh, the following uh, mathematical structures. Uh, the first is the factorization algebra. Um, I mean, the factorization algebra in the sense of uh, Costello and Graham. Uh, yeah, it's just a several, so, uh, a kind of certain algebra structures. And the factorization homology or factorization complex uh, is a chain complex. And the, 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 B, the, the and the BV algebra. And the finally, the most important gradient is the uh, partition function map, which uh, is a, a chain map. Is equivalent to say uh, to, is equivalent to the quantum mass equation. So let's uh, uh, look at uh, example. So um, in one-dimensional topological quantum mechanics, the if we use the machinery of the BA quantizations, so we first get a uh, factorization algebra. Uh, in one-dimensional case, uh, where the, the target the simplicity of the simplicity manifold is just the the, the flat simplicity manifold. So um, the factorization algebra is just the the the, the deformed uh, uh, the deformed uh, algebra. Uh, it's just a way way algebra, and the factorization homology is just a usual uh, Hochschild chain complex computes the Hochschild homo Hochschild uh, homologies. Um, and here is the uh, the explicit formula. So actually, uh, in fact, if you uh, consider some kind of uh, 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 secret uh, 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 operation, we, we can pass to the pure the purity secret homo uh, chain complex, but uh, I think uh, in this uh, I will not uh, discuss it. Um, so the BV algebra uh, uh, looks like uh, it actually is uh, this uh, algebra. So uh, we have uh, even uh, uh, even element yi here and the old element called the theta i here. The BV, the BV, Laplace, uh, the, the BV operator is just uh, uh, look like uh, this one. So, and uh, there is uh, exists a one dimensional trace map uh, from the Hochschild complex uh, to this BV algebra and satisfy the quantum mass equation. And, and the, uh, we can uh, we can prove this construction uh, along the the, the nonlinear uh, simplicity manifold uh, using phase of uh, connection. Uh, we can get a trace map from the Hochschild homology of the deformed uh, of the deformed algebra uh, to this base uh, uh, base ring, and we 
we can use the techniques from quantum uh, quantum field theory to uh, give a not uh, uh, to re uh, reproduce the algebra index theorem. So um, now we want to uh, uh, generalize this uh, uh, this procedure to the two dimensional case. So um, the algebra structure here now is the uh, the beta gamma BC system, uh, which is a kind of Kyle version of the way or Clifford algebra. So uh, using the construction I, I, I mentioned before, we can uh, uh, kind of construct a Kyle algebra on the Riemann surface. And the fact that union complex, uh, which in one dimensional case, we have the Hochschild, the Hochschild, homo, the Hochschild complex. Here we have the Kyle chain complex. So, um, uh, uh, this Kyle-Chain complex computes the Kyle homologies. So, uh, uh, almost parallel to the one-dimensional case. So, the uh, Feldheim algebra, which now is a Wetzel-Oplady algebra, and uh, the Feldheim homology uh, is now the Kyle-Chain complex uh, uh, using several resolutions. Uh, for, we, we, we first uh, use the Shavana Amber complex uh, on the D modules and use the, the Spencer resolution and the double resolution. And we ha also have a uh, 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 finite generated uh, BV algebra. And the, the point is that we want to construct uh, a linear map uh, from this, uh, from uh, actually a chain map from the 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 Kyle chain complex to this BV algebra. Um, uh, this means that we want to solve this uh, quantum mass equation. So uh, the method, uh, the, our method means that uh, if X uh, uh, is an elliptic curve, uh, we can construct an explicit map. Uh, from the Kyle chain complex to this BV algebra, satisfying the uh, quantum mass equation. Uh, roughly speaking, this trace maps uh, uh, is some kind of uh, uh, integration of the, 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 co the usual physical correlation functions. So the, the usual physical correlation function ha will have some uh, poles look at like uh, uh, looks as following. So uh, may have some poles. So the naive integration is not uh, uh, does not make sense. So we use the regularized integrals uh, introduced by uh, Lee and Joe. Uh, it, it it is a kind of high genus version. Uh, kind of, no, it's a kind of generalized version for a principal uh, uh, the principal value. Uh, so we look now, now we look uh, more closely to his uh, constructions. So. Um, so the typical element in the Kyle chain complex uh, can be uh, uh, can be written as the following. So I uh, recall that uh, we have uh, three uh, complex, right? The three, um, we, we, our differential have three components. Uh, the first is described uh, by the chavalai allenborg differential. So it's kind of uh, a two dimension, a kind of, in, in, in the one dimensional case, we have the Hochschild differential. Uh, this is described uh, by the colliding of the adjacent point. So uh, uh, this Shaolai Allen differential is also described by the uh, two local operators approaching to each other. Uh, but since we are not, uh, now we are not in two, we are not in one dimensional case, we have, uh, we, we, we're now in two dimensional case, so we, we have. Uh, more geometric structures for elliptic curves, so we need to to do uh, uh, the Spencer resolution to compute the drum, the drum complex, the uh, drum homology, and the Spencer Spencer resolution to to compute the 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 the, the, the derived global sections. So uh, a typical element is is just a smooth uh, differential smooth forms, uh, uh, which. Um, um, uh, um, here, the J is a suggestion map to I. And for each I, we have a, a, a embedding A here. And um, element is a bunch of uh, uh, um, 
uh, multiple sections, uh, and and this theta is the tangent shift of x r, x j. Uh, this uh, corresponds to the Spencer resolution, and these double forms correspond to the double resolution. And um, the Kyle product here uh, is uh, the Chabonet Ellenberg resolution. <laughs> so uh, we can use Feynman diagrams uh, to construct the Kyle complex from the, 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 the Kyle chain complex of the beta gamma system to Kyle complex for the unit. Uh, for the unit Kyle algebra. So uh, uh, I, I need to mention that the omega x itself uh, is a Kyle algebra. Uh, you know, uh, it, it's so-called a unit Kyle algebra. So the Kyle complex of the unit Kyle algebra is just, just uh, differential forms on, 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 on xs, uh, uh, but with uh, possible uh, uh, singularities around the, the diagonal. So use the regular integral, we can uh, integrate uh, this part and get uh, an element in the BV algebra. So um, the Feynman diagram constructions, uh, the first, first uh, Feynman diagram constructions give, uh, gives rise to uh, map in the, uh, the, uh, the differential and the differential on the uh, unit Chi algebra uh, and the BV uh, uh, operator. And we can, uh, now we can integrate uh, using the regular integral to integrate uh, this out to get um, um, uh, uh, BV algebra. And uh, using the stock theorem that uh, this is just the drum differential. And uh, if we use the integration by part, uh, we get the re we can use a, uh, we get the residue uh, some some uh, kind of uh, combination of the residues. Uh, this residue is uh, exactly ca captured by this uh, uh, Kyle differential. So so this is the Chabonet Ellenberg differential uh, for the unit Kyle algebra. Uh, uh, here here is the uh, intuitive way to say that. So. Uh, first, we have a bunch of operated, operated local operated insertions, and we use Feynman diagrams to get uh, different forms on on each x on each uh, uh, product of x, and then we uh, integrate these uh, uh, different forms, and we get a, an element in the BV algebra. So in one dimension, uh, 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 recall in one dimension we have some operated insertions here. Um, is corresponding to this step. And we do uh, some Feynman diagram uh, constructions and we get a differential forms on the configuration space of S1. And then we integrate uh, the differential forms and we get uh, um, an element in the BV algebra. So this is it's just a, a two dimensional uh, analog for, uh, for that procedure. So, uh, uh, so finally we get the quantum mass equation. So uh, more detail that uh, this section uh, is so operating insertions uh, with positive, uh, with possible uh, uh, metamorphic poles. Um, uh, um, and, and using Feynman diagrams, we can get uh, different forms and then we do a regular integrals. The residue theorem, uh, implies the quantum mass equations. Um, so finally, uh, um, so now we have the, uh, the solution of the quantum mass equation. Uh, that means we have a, a kind of a nice uh, trace maps on the elliptic Kyle algebra, uh, on Kyle algebra. And uh, then I will uh, try to explain how uh, weighted genus uh, uh, arise naturally in this setup. So, um, uh, for any D sub algebra, actually, uh, for any D sub algebra for inner durations of this uh, Kyle algebra, uh, the, 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 the above construction can be extended to the Lie algebra co chains. Uh, that means uh, uh, we can extend uh, the previous construction to this uh, Lie algebra co, uh, uh, co chain complex. So, uh, 
here, uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, Lacaution complex, and uh, this is a module over, over this uh, uh, the algebra, and tensor is uh, this uh, BV algebra. So if we restrict to the zero component, we get uh, we go back to our uh, chase map. Uh, the point is that the extend the, the extended chase map satisfies uh, the following uh, quantum mass equations. Uh, here is the, our original uh, uh, our original quantum mass equation is is, is just uh, 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 following. Uh, here we add uh, uh, shawarai Ambro differential for this um, the algebra uh, uh, quotient complex. Um, now, uh, if we take our the free beta gamma system uh, to be the just we only uh, suppose we have suppose that we only have the Bosonic part, so we have um, uh, um, n copies of the beta gamma uh, 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 systems, and uh, let uh, uh, the tilter the W n tilter be the extension of the D algebra of the formal vector field of m variables. So this is isomorphic to, let's say, um, xi, partial xi. So uh, it's just a formal vector field. So um, uh, this vector field can be viewed, can, can, be, can, can be viewed as a, um, um, this algebra can be viewed as a, um, um, uh, these sub-algebras of the uh, inner derivation of these uh, car algebras. And uh, uh, and if we uh, compute uh, the the trace map, the extended trace map, um, on uh, evaluate on the uh, on the unit Kyle chains, and re uh, recall that we ha ha also have some uh, insertions on, of the the algebra quotient complex, um, up to a, a a very explicit twist. Uh, we have we we get the formal weighting genus uh, in this um, uh, 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 the algebra the algebra the algebra the algebra uh, the algebra cohomology of this um, uh, 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 on this uh, the algebra cohomology. Uh, this is just uh, the formal carry, uh, uh, um the uh, the uh, the algebra homology for a formal vector field, uh, which can be uh, decent to the ordinary characteristic class uh, using Galvan Fuchs constructions. Um, uh, so um, recall that uh, in 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 uh, actually uh, in one dimensional case, uh, this statement is exactly almost the same. So it's uh, the a hat genus plus the some kind of chain character. The, uh, this is the formal version, the, the, the formal characteristic class. So uh, this is just a, a two-dimensional uh, two-dimensional analog uh, for that statement. Um, uh, this setup uh, uh, actually uh, 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 related uh, related work. So uh, it's actually uh, uh, this philosophy is already appears in uh, conservative work on deformation quantization. And uh, Cartano Felder's work on the Poisson signal model, and uh, the the idea to use this effective series is originally from the Costello's work on the weighting genus, and there are several works uh, 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 several works along uh, this line. So, um, uh, Gradient Graham for the cotangent bundle, one-dimensional cotangent bundle, and the Gavin of uh, William. Uh, Green William for the curve, uh, the come up curve the beta gamma system. They build the factorization algebra. <coughs> um, so uh, finally, I, I just remind the uh, uh, the, the, the rough uh, uh, comparison between one dimension and two dimension. So the one dimension we have associated algebra, Hausdorff homology, and the quantum mass equations. And uh, these trace maps are given by. Uh, the integrals on a compatified uh, configuration space of S1. And uh, this, uh, uh, the resultant theory is algebra index theory. And the two dimensional, uh, we have a vertex of the algebra, uh, chi homology, and we can use the regular integral to, to construct the trace map. 
So uh, this uh, will actually uh, give rise some kind of uh, to the uh, algebra in the theorem. So um, I find, uh, uh, yeah, um, maybe I am over time, but I, I let me briefly uh, mention some future works. So uh, we, we now kind of uh, on just on a single curve. So actually we can couple to the two dimensional gravity. That means we can couple, uh, we, we can kind of move the, along the families uh, along the module space of the curves. We can also couple in with some kind of non-trivial holomorphic bundles on the elliptic curves. So another in question, interesting question is that uh, 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 to find the freedom hole um, interpretation of uh, this result because uh, by uh, uh, Nancy Sagan, uh, they can uh, they they can use the algebra index theorem to prove the the, the origin uh, the the extra uh, analytic index theorem by T and Singer. Another question is that is there a kind of algebra in chi algebra index theorem for the families? Now the families means the, the family of the target of the the cotangent bundle of the of a complex manifold, and also um, there's also two directions uh, um, for high genus and high, dim high dimension. Uh, this high dimensional is on uh, uh, X. So we, we may can replace by high dimensional varieties or, or etc. So yeah, it's, um, uh, yeah, it's all my talks. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, sorry for the overtime. Yeah. It's okay. Thank you very much. Hey, comments? So I found it, uh, well, I found it interesting, right? Oh, yes, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Any questions? So it's a bit out of our usual uh, subject. So I have quite a few questions, but I think I will, uh, I will do it separately. Oh, oh yeah. So, so shall we thank the speaker again? Yeah, so thank you, thank you very much. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. And thank you. thank you and see you guys in uh, two weeks time. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you.